Hey y'all, it's Natalie. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, my name is Natalie and I really, 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 really love the Golden Girls. So what I'm bringing you today is a haul and it's a pretty big collective haul. This is gonna come from places like Amazon, I have some stuff from Ulta, I have some stuff from a brand new store I had never heard of called Miniso. I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. Got a bunch of stuff from there and I'll explain what it is whenever we get there. Um, also a couple things from ASOS and then some PR stuff that I've received in the mail. It's gonna be a long video. Get a snack, get a drink. Mm. Um, <laughs> and we'll go through this together. So first up is going to be Amazon. I grabbed a couple things. First thing I got was this curling iron. I have naturally wavy hair, but sometimes I just want to put some more zhuzh in there. I will say, I'll be the first to admit that I am terrible at all things hair. I wash it, I dry it, I air dry it. I mean, I wash it, I air dry it. I don't, I don't do anything else to it. So sometimes I want to get a little fancier, but I'm also really dumb when it comes to hair. I can't really like do anything. I don't know how to do any hairstyles. So I figured something like this, a good old fashioned um, curling iron would really help me just put a little bit more fance into my hair. Um, I got the inch and a half barrel and it's from Hot Tools, which is a brand I've definitely heard of before. So I'm really excited to try this out and I'll let y'all know how it goes. The other thing I got was a couple pairs of my favorite opaque tights in the Just My Size brand. I get the size 4X and I really wish that they had bigger sizes because I pretty much top out the size of their um, tights and I'm a size 22, 2022. And these are opaque black, straight up just not fancy good old tights. These are about $6. Sometimes they can go as low as five, sometimes as high as seven. Either way, totally worth it. Um, I'm gonna link everything I'm talking about below and I can't recommend these enough. I buy them by the twos and threes. Next up, I'm gonna do Ulta. Ulta, I just grabbed a couple things and it was really sweet. Whenever um, we were uh, cashing out, Jeff grabbed all my stuff and was like, I got it. And I was like, that was really sweet. Thanks, babe. So, first things I got was a couple sets of um, toning purple shampoo. I have just a little bit of blonde in the bottom of my hair where um, I had it balayaged about a year and a half ago. And it's just kind of getting brassy, so I wanted to put some, some toning into there. So I got Pravana, and then I also got Redken uh, for no other reason other than, you know, I have never tried the Pravana. I've tried the Redken. I'm neither here nor there as long as it does its job. Another thing I grabbed while I was there was um, a Catrice setting spray. I was really looking for the dewy one they have of this because I've heard so much about it from different YouTubers. They didn't have it, but I had never tried this one. This one is the multi-talent. So I think this operates a lot like the Smashbox primer water. You can use it under, over, to refresh your makeup, whatever. Really excited to try this. I got another, this will be about like my fourth one maybe, the NYX Powder Puff Lipsticks. Um, best way to explain it is that it's a very velvety texture. It's matte but not drying. And if you've ever tried ColourPop's Satin Lip Formula, this is a lot like that. I really love it. And the color I grabbed is called teacher's pet and it is this really pretty like rust ready orange color and this is what the applicator looks like it's awesome you squeeze it comes up through uh the tip i think it's pretty easy to apply and i love 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 these i have like i said probably at least three others i might even have four others but i love them the next thing I got, and the last thing I got, was this Morphe brush. They call this the under eye buffer, but to be honest, it's so soft and has a nice kind of rounded point to it that I want to use this for foundation. I'm weirdly getting into using brushes for foundation now instead of beauty blenders. Um, I feel like the coverage is a little bit better, and since, since I started doing my makeup a little bit differently, 
I um, mostly conceal and buff out instead of putting something all over my whole face. I feel like it helps my skin look a little more skin-like instead of it being like a mask of makeup, and I'm really liking that. There we go, Morphe M536, and yeah, it was about $8. I think Morphe brushes are really good and the price point is awesome. Great, so the next store I'm gonna go on to is the store called Miniso. I hope that's how you say it. The best way I can describe this is that it reminds me of Daiso a lot. But whenever I put it on my Instagram, a bunch of my followers were telling me that it's actually owned by Uniqlo, the clothing brand. Um, and that's really neat. Kind of when I started taking a little bit more in-depth look, I could kind of tell there's a lot of those um, characteristics in the store. Um, it's not as inexpensive as Daiso, but it's still not as expensive as a lot of stores. I'd say everything in the store is $20 and under. Most things being around the one to five dollar mark. I got a random assortment of things, so let me just get into it. First thing I got was this baby right here. It's basically a mirror, obviously. And I have a big vanity mirror, which is great, but it's kind of far away from me when I'm doing my makeup. So I figured something like this would be really helpful. I'm not gonna point it right at y'all, just cause that would shine in your face. But yeah, it's this mirror, it has a little bit of a tilt to it, and it just stands up on your tabletop like this. Um, I may try to travel with this. I don't know, since it doesn't have a protective cover, how well that would go. Um, but I also don't have anything else to travel with as far as a mirror, so I'll try that out. I got a big pack of facial cottons. And I actually opened these up. I haven't used it with any, sorry, there's a swinging blind over here. Um, I haven't used it with any liquids yet, so I'll report back. But let me show y'all, this was really interesting. I can't, t I'm like literally using all my strength and I can't, can barely tear it. So it's actually really strong, which is nice. And I'm not seeing that it really is like shedding much, which is good. Um, and this entire pack, it is a 180 sheets, was a dollar 49, I think. Either it was under two dollars. What the heck? Next thing I got was this big old honkin' pack of um, odorless mild wipes with these adorable bears. Evidently, this is some cartoon on the Cartoon Network. I had never heard of it. Yeah, freaking 80 wipes, and this was like two or three dollars. I've tried a couple of these the past few days, and they're not overly wet, which can be a good and a bad thing. I don't know if I would use this to like try to easily get my, let's say, eye makeup off, because I don't want to tug at my eyelashes or tug at my skin around my eyes. But this would be good to do like a quick wipe of foundation off my face if you make a mistake or even for swatches. I think that might be another good thing. I am really excited about these and I will purchase a bunch more of those if they end up being good. This looked really fun. This is a fresh cactus hydrating spray. Nice big bottle of it. This was a couple dollars. And this reminds me a lot of like the Mario Badescu rose water, you know, just to kind of hydrate and freshen the skin. Um, but this is cactus and I thought that was really fun. This will be really nice to um, just get a little moisture, a little moisture to the face. So this is just the box, but I will, I have this one. This is just a little um, phone holder clip. So it clips onto the corner of a table and then it holds your phone. I'm actually using it right now because I was using it while I was throwing on some makeup. This is what it looks like. Clips on to the edge of the table really well. Holds my phone. I have the um, iPhone XS Max, so it's the big one. Holds it totally fine. It has a pivoting neck, which is cool. And it's just good for hands-free. Yeah, that was, I, that was less than $5 as well. And that's one of those things where it's like, you know, any one of these, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't break the bank. And they also do returns and exchanges, which is nice, because I don't think Daiso does. Next thing 
are these dudes. These confuse me just a little bit. They're individually wrapped sheet masks and you take it, you plop it in some water and it expands into a mask that you can put on your face. I don't think these inherently, sorry, it's kind of windy if you hear my blinds um, clinking around. I don't think there is any skincare necessarily in this. There's not a whole lot of instructions and it says it doesn't shed, which is nice. So basically I'm gonna use these if I'm doing some really intensive treatment to my face, let's say like a lot of serums or oils or something, throw one of these on top that's nice and warm so it can help everything kind of sink in. And they're 30 in here and this was less than $3, I believe. I got these nail polishes. These were $1.49 a piece and this blue one's actually what I'm wearing on my nails. No must, no fuss, not a super fancy nail polish, but I love the color. These color blues are like my favorite to wear on my fingers. And then I finally found a pastel green. For whatever reason, I don't feel like pastel green is a color that you can find a whole lot, but um, I really wanted to try it. Saw that and I was like, for $1.50, heck yeah. And then you'll see that the brand says that it is fashion expert. And I was like, Fashion expert, sign me up. This is from the brand called Makeup Beauty. I've heard of this brand because I follow, it's gonna sound really strange, I follow a lot of lip Instagrams um, because I just love lipstick and I love the just the aesthetic of like big juicy lips and there's a lot of accounts that will just post lips, tell you what they've used, yada yada. I've seen this brand on there and this is a moist lip gloss. <laughs> so it's basically one of those just like super shiny, I'll pack up the color just so it's easier to see for y'all, super shiny juicy lip glosses. This is in the color um, cherry red and what I like about this is it's also a stain, so as it wears off throughout the day um, or over time, it will leave behind almost like, like they say, you just ate a popsicle. So I thought that was really cute, and this was, I think, like $1.49 or $1.99. ASOS, I'll show you ASOS. So I just grabbed a couple things, and two of the things I got were the same, and they were, oh my gosh, I should have prepared this better. Let me get this unwrapped and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so like I said, two of the things I got were the same and it's a pair of pants that are like my favorite pants to wear because they're like a pajama pant. They're called their Jersey Peg Pants and I don't even know what other way to describe it other than it's like socially acceptable pajamas. You can wear these to the office, I wore them um, to work and nobody ever said anything. Wore them with a shirt tucked in, sometimes a cardigan, some flats or some boots. They look totally cute. So they're just a pair of tapered leg uh, trousers. I will try to, never done this, another thing I'm gonna try to do it and make sure in editing that I can. Um, I'll try to insert some photos of me wearing these pants. They literally look like trousers feel like pajama pants. They have pockets and it's just an easy chuck on pair of super comfortable pants, especially if you're having to sit a lot throughout the day. You don't want something digging into your waist or anything. And I really, really like them. And they're, I think $26. I can't recommend them enough. I can't recommend them enough. I wear them, you know, when I had an office job, I wear them with crop tops and sneakers. I wear them, like I said, with boots, with uh, button ups, like literally anything. I love them so much. I'll link them down below as well. One thing I wanna mention about the pants that I forgot, size down. Size down like three sizes. They are literally that roomy. Um, I wear, let's say, an ASOS jeans. I wear a 20. I get a 16 in these pants, and they're still very, very roomy. Size down. Size down, size down, size down. <laughs> the next thing I got is a cute pajama set, and it's a 
top, like a little boxy top and leggings in a matching print. So cute. It's like a little space theme. It's just this little matching, like I said, top and pants. And I freaking love them. They're black with, you know, purple and blue and yellow and pink, different um, little doodles all over them. It's so cute. I got a necklace, it was on clearance. Um, I am a sucker for really long necklaces that have like pendants, especially like kind of coin looking necklaces. So I grabbed this little dude and it's just a really long golden chain with this really cute little like coin and it has like some spinner action. I really liked that. And it was clearance for like $6, $9, it was under $10, one of those. And it's by the brand Warehouse. I think we are on to some PR. Now I know y'all are thinking like, this girl only has like 500 something subscribers. How is she getting PR? I'm very, very grateful to have a very large following on Instagram that's growing and growing. And um, I've been working with brands at this point for years now on different projects. And you know, just this last couple weeks is when I've really been frawing into YouTube. So because of Instagram is where I get a lot of my PR, but I'm hoping as my YouTube grows that, you know, I will be able to share more and more of that stuff on YouTube with you guys. <clears throat> Alrighty, so as far as PR, the first package I opened, I was not expecting at all. It showed up and it was beautiful. Um, a really, really pretty uh, presentation as well as the contents inside. And it was from Eloqui. <clears throat> Eloqui is a plus size brand. Um, I think it does sizes like 10 or 12 through maybe 28 or so. And honestly, their clothes are so, did I say clothes? Am I from the year 1500? What the heck? <laughs> their clothes are so beautiful. And they came out with a collaboration. Oh, I don't know if it's a collaboration or a collection more like, called Cozabella for Eloqui. And it's this beautiful lingerie set. I, I, I can't get over it. So these are the bottoms. This is the front. Look how delicate that like lace pattern is. And then here's the back. And it's got this beautiful little silky patch on the booty. And it's definitely a like, um, how do I put it? Kind of like a cheeky. A cheeky cut and I love the scalloping around the edges uh, so pretty a matching bralette don't you just die oh my god I just die let me show you better so this isn't better at all um but it's got the silky pattern over some of the boob along with the scalloped pattern to match the undies and it is just so Beautiful and this like wine burgundy color is gonna be so pretty on my skin I'm so excited and so thankful that Eloqui sent it over I'll show you all some of the goodies that they put in the package with it um, there was a little bottle of rosé which how freaking cute and There were like crushed up like rose petal confetti stuff inside of there And then they put in a couple goodies from ColourPop so ColourPop they sent this set of lipsticks two ultra matte lips and one ultra satin oh which is funny because I was I was talking about those earlier I didn't realize that one was the satin I literally threw away two of these colors because they were kind of old and gloopy and I love the colors and I'm so happy to have them back in my collection but fresh tubes this one is an ultra matte in the color love bug and as you can tell, kind of like the um, NYX one I got earlier, I love like these terracotta colors. And then this one, oh, this one was the one that killed me the most to throw away. Um, it's the color Mama, another ultra matte. I'll swipe these on my hand real quick just so you can see Mama. And this is Love Bug. They get super matte but they have improved their formula so much over the years that it's no longer that matte that feels like super uncomfortable. 
very excited to try those. Again, I had been really, really sad to get rid of them. And then this is an Ultra Satin Lip, which is my second favorite lip formula from ColourPop. My first is their Ultra Blotted Lips, but this is the color Calypso, and it looks just like a really beautiful pinky nude. Let me show that to you. And their Satin Formula is awesome because it never fully dries down matte. Obviously the, the finish is satin, but it's really long wearing and super comfortable. I love, I love, I love their satin. And they also sent me a little goodie from Fourth Ray Beauty. Fourth Ray is like the sister brand to ColourPop and they do skincare. So they sent me some, <laughs> there's still like the confetti all over everything. Some jojoba oil. That's all the confetti you're seeing on there. But yeah, some jojoba. And I'm super stoked to have this. I know jojoba is great for your skin. Um, I just didn't have any. So it'll be really great to put this in my beauty routine. Maybe even incorporate it with those masks I was talking about. For the vlog that I made for the event that I went to that is up on my channel now. It was my previous video on Sunday. Um, they gave us little goodie bags on the way um, into the event and it had you know a bunch of like information obviously about all the vendors and then some goodies i pulled out a couple of the items because they were very relevant to my interest and i wanted to show y'all i had never heard of these brands before this natural deodorant from a brand called ursa major and it is the mint and eucalyptus natural deodorant i haven't used this yet so i'm not just putting used deodorant in my nose this smells so nice it smells so so nice now I had tried um, Schmidt's natural deodorant everybody had raved about Schmidt's I love the way all of it smells I had a really bad reaction to Schmidt's and evidently it's something to do with the um, I think it's the baking soda in it I didn't know I had a sensitivity to that and I had a really bad rash so I had to stop using it and as soon as I stopped using it it went away so from what I can tell from the ingredients I don't see that in here so I'm really hoping this doesn't make me have a reaction but if it does I just I stop using it and it goes away but yeah no aluminum or synthetic fragrance and I, like I said I'll be sure to link everything below but it's the hop and fresh deodorant super cute and it's nice and small so it can be thrown in in a a bag easily. A couple other things. This was a brand I had not heard of either. It's called Sweet Chef. And this particular product is the Ginger and Vitamin C Serum Shot. Um, and it's for brightening dark spots and uneven tone, which I'm so stoked about. Um, I get hormonal acne because of my PCOS. And with that, I get hyperpigmentation after the breakout goes away. So I'm really excited about this to see if it will help kind of, you know, lighten and brighten those marks that are left over. It is free of parabens, synthetic dyes, fragrances, and mineral oil, which is really nice. And I had never heard of the brand, so I'll tell y'all a little bit about it. It says, Sweet Chef mixes the perfect daily shot of vegetables and vitamins to freshly boost your skin's vitality and deliver a healthy radiance. It says quenching your skin has never been so sweet. So this is awesome. And it says to use after cleansing and toning, which is great. So I can cleanse, use my um, cactus spray, and then put some of this baby on, and even maybe with a little bit of my jojoba. So very excited. Uh, there we go. Adorable. So stoked to try that. From the brand as well, they popped in a sheet mask, and it's from the same line, the ginger and vitamin C. So it is like a 15, 20 minute sheet mask. So that'd be really nice. So I could probably do one of these and then follow it up with the um, oil. I love skincare. Here's something that you'll learn about me as we go on. I am a beauty junkie. I love skincare. I love makeup. I love, I love all of it. Same thing, free of parabens and mineral oil. Very excited to try this. <laughs> Look at the bottom. It says selfie approved. Oh, ginger snap. Adorable. Two little uh, lip moisturizing masks and they soften and exfoliate. So I'm super stoked to try those. A couple products from the brand Juice 
Beauty. I've seen Juice Beauty at Ulta and I am really excited to try it. So this first one is um, a little sample of Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. This will be perfect for traveling. You can throw that in my makeup bag or even in my purse um, because there's many, many days I don't wear makeup, but this will be nice just to give my skin hydration and glow. This is actually a lip product. There we go. And the color looks beautiful. It looks like this really pretty like berry red. This was a cool um, PR package that showed up. And the point of this was for them to share like kind of all of their new goods that are coming out from a bunch of the different brands that they sell there. But this was the inside of the package. Really cool. And it says, time to refresh and renew. Get ready to glow. Sally Beauty has fresh new finds that pamper and prep. And yeah, so it explains all the stuff that they sent. So obviously it looks like most of the stuff that came is skin, hair, and makeup. And the first thing I saw, I had never heard of this brand before called Texture ID. This is a big old bottle of cream conditioner. And like I said, it's for all hair types and it has honey in it. It says it smooths hair and retains moisture. I am a conditioner fanatic. I go through conditioner 20 times faster than I go through shampoo. I like to make sure that I'm putting a lot on the ends, especially because it is so long. So I definitely will be using this. It smells so nice. Oh, beautiful. It smells like just like a fancy salon. You know what smell I'm talking about. This is from the brand Shea Moisture. And it looks like this is a leave-in conditioner. So it is a Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In with Mafura and Baobab oils. Awesome. Restore, prep, and protect dry, brittle hair. I don't necessarily have dry and brittle hair, but like I said, it's long. I love to moisturize the shit out of my hair. So I'm very excited to try this. A brand I had also never heard of. It's called The Main Choice. <laughs> mane like hair mane and it says it's peach black tea and vitamin infusion um, anti-shedding and intense volume therapy and it's a mousse thermal protection for curly or straight and it's a weightless way to healthier hair really cute I had also never heard of this brand it's, it looks like it's apothecare and this is a shampoo so they sent a shampoo and the conditioner well a conditioner it's not the same as this but this is ginger, shea butter, and lemon balm. Oh, that sounds awesome, doesn't it? That smells so expensive. We have another leave-in conditioner. This one from the brand Headwear. Headwear, it's a supercharged leave-in. Vegan, color safe, no artificial colors, no gluten, no parabens, and no sulfates. But awesome, it helps with shine and combating frizz. And this one is TSA limit, so um, I can take this, and whenever this is done, I can just put other leave-ins in here and take it with me. What are you? Oh, I've heard of them. Ion, the brand Ion, and these are Silk Drops, and it looks like it's vegan and paraben-free, and the Silk Drops help to achieve shiny, manageable hair. I like shiny and manageable hair. I'm excited to try these. I guess, yep, place a small amount. I'm about to say this is probably one of those things that you can overuse really easily. That smells like candy. That literally smells like Skittles. Ooh. Okay, so this was a from Plan Active Blend, and it is a, it looks like a conditioning mask. So it says it has walnut, cranberry fruit, horsetail, lemon, burdock root, and malo flower. Nice. So yeah, a moisture mask. Like I said, always could use something like that. Next up, we have a moisturizing hand mask from the brand Heel to Toe. And this one's for your hands. And then they also sent one for your feet, for your little feet. And so they both have camellia oil in them, which is really nice. And they're both 20 minute treatments. This will be really cool. Um, I have one of my best friends coming this weekend uh, from Texas. And we can do a lot of really cool like girls nights while she's here with all these goodies. I think maybe this brand is Sugu Beauty, 
but this is a sheet mask you guys maybe i should do like a sheet mask collection i don't know if that's even something that people do but i have enough to do a large collection video let me know if y'all would like to see that um but this is the moisturizing sheet mask with avocado and yeah it's just a fiber face mask look at this little dude look at that precious baby we're shaped alike <laughs> and so this is a uh, k beauty it's korean beauty very excited to try this looks like it's about a 20 minute um treatment as well nail polish from china glaze which is a brand that's been around forever i hope i can capture this color it's like this pink with gold micro shimmers in there how pretty actually more of a peach than a pink how pretty is that the color is called moment in the sunset sunset is a good description for this with the that peach and gold in there how pretty can't wait to use that that's gonna be gorgeous something from palladio palladio is a brand i've definitely heard of because of um some different youtubers have never really tried any of their products i don't think but this is a mattifying setting powder so it says it has green tea which is cool and yeah it's just the i think it's just translucent last couple things from the brand ardell Oh, one from Palladio and one from Ardell. I had heard that Ardell was getting into um, uh, cosmetics. I visited a PR company in New York and got to shop some of their stash and I saw some Ardell Beauty there. But this is a metallic lip gloss. Looks like it's in like a really pretty burgundy color. Oh, kind of matches the, uh, the under Roonies that I got. But this is the color Blind Date. Ooh, this is from, like I said, from Palladio, and it's a liquid highlighter. I love highlighters, powder, liquid, cream, anything in between. That rhymed. And this one is really like um, golden colored, and the color is 24K. The product's called I'm Glowing. Can't wait to try that out. Oh my gosh, how pretty. And then I think that was it in this guy. Y'all, I'm exhausted of talking. <laughs> I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing hearing me as well. There's some more stuff I could show, but I'll save that for another haul. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all the love on my videos and all the comments that I'm getting. Thank you so much for being interactive with me. Um, people are leaving really good ideas for future videos. One I'm gonna do this week is called an Inside the Dressing Room. And I think I'm gonna go to Forever 21 first take y'all around, try things on in the dressing room, show y'all how different things fit or if they don't fit. And, um, cause I have a gift card to Forever 21. So I want to use it. But again, thank you so, so much for watching, but thanks so, so much. And I really hope you'll consider subscribing and coming back for future videos. Again, holler at me in the comments below. Let's talk about whatever you want. Tell me what you want to see as far as videos. And I will see y'all next time.